Welcome to Ashley Marie. I'm super excited about The Good Dinosaur coming out and I love the movie poster with its beautiful fireflies. And so I made a cake and it also glows in the dark. Let's get started. So I wanted the cake to glow in the dark. So I went to Google and I discovered that tonic water glows under black light. It looks awesome. It's the perfect shade of blue. I was really excited, but then I also wanted to have green. So I did more research and I discovered that vitamin B2, when you dissolve it in water, glows this beautiful yellow. It's not quite green, but it's in the same family, right? So the first thing that I did was take some of each and paint it on the fondant. But as you can see, it doesn't do anything. You know, it glows in a beaker or glass or a container because there's so much of it. But when you paint it onto the fondant, nothing. It's just too thin. Although you will notice that if I let it beat up, then I actually get some glowing. But the problem is the water doesn't stay beaded up on the cake. It'll either just, you know, drip down or it will evaporate and then I'm left with nothing again. So I was feeling discouraged that all of my experimenting, and trust me, I experimented with everything I could think of, uh, didn't amount to anything when it came to the liquids. I needed something stronger. So I was rummaging through cake supplies that I already had, seeing if there was anything at all that worked, when bam, I came up with this disco dust that I used for the eyes on Gruff the Never Beast cake and it totally glowed and it's the perfect shade of green and it's really bright and it's awesome. So I went back to the store, I looked at other disco dusts and while I couldn't find anything that was super bright and blue, I did find this white that does give a little bit of a bluish hue and I figured, hey, I'll take it. So let's open it up and let's put a little bit on this cake. Again, it's not ideal, but it's a little bit better than nothing. And let's uh, try this green. The green <laughs> glows great. It's awesome. So this is what we're gonna go with. Now this Disco Dusk is non-toxic, but they, it is a glitter. So they do recommend that you not eat it, but it's kind of at your own discretion. I want the background of this cake to look like the night sky from the movie poster. So if you notice, it's very dark and it's easy to look at and think, oh, it's black, but it's really not. It has variations between some light blue and some black and, you know, marbleizing your fondant can give it some great texture and depth, uh, especially for a cake that's just black or just dark and it's, you know, kind of hard to see. So I've taken three different colors. I have a black, I have a blue, and then I have a lighter blue. And we're gonna mix all of these three together. So the very first thing that I do when I'm getting started with marbleizing is I kind of flatten it out. And then I layer them. All right. I kind of try to flatten them out to about the same size. And then I rip it in half and layer it some more. And then rip it in half again, layer it some more and then I kind of roll it up and then I just start kneading it. So we've covered our double barrel eight inch cake and then a six inch cake with that marbleized fondant. You can see it's mostly dark, but you're still getting a little bit of that variation with the blues and the lighter colors in there. It's time to put some of our fireflies on. We want to get a lot of the fireflies on before we put uh, our fondant dinosaur on because if we put the dinosaur on first then he'll get splatters all over him and we want more clean lines than that. So we're going to take a cutout that I made and put that on the cake and splatter around it and that's going to create our firefly effect and then we can go ahead and move the actual fondant onto the cake. To get the blue effect what we're going to do is use some white icing and some electric blue and then I mixed those together but that was a little bit thick and so then I added a little bit of vodka and that's going to make it runny enough that we can splatter easily um, but then that will evaporate and it will just leave that blue color without being drippy and too wet. You can see that here and then you'll notice I have three different brushes. I have a toothbrush for small fine splatters. I have a bigger brush for 
bigger splatters. And then I have this more detailed brush and we're gonna use that a little bit later. So I right, know you'll notice on this top layer, I put it, I didn't center it, I put it right up against the side. That's where our neck is going to be. So that's where I'm going to adhere our paper stencil. So I'm gonna take some shortening, always useful. And I'm going to um, put it on the back of the paper. And that's going to help the paper stick to our cake. And then I'm just going to get kind of close to this. And I'm going to splatter down the neck just to kind of help it get that glowy effect. We're gonna peel this off. So I've taken that bluish black that we have left and I've taken a little bit of green and I'm gonna mix these two together. Now I've printed off the movie poster and I'm gonna use it as a guide. I'm just gonna take my toothpick and kind of push around his lines. So now I have a little indentation and I'm gonna use that for my guide for cutting. I have a nice sharp brand new blade and that makes a huge difference. So we have it all cut out and very detailed and now we need to flip it to the other side so we can put it on the cake. So. Now, if we just flipped it onto parchment paper, it actually would just continue to slide around. So what we're gonna do is take some shortening and do a really thin layer of shortening, just enough that it's gonna be a little bit tacky. Make sure everything's right where you want it because there's not gonna be changing after this. This is gonna hold it nicely into shape for us. All right, now we're gonna flip it over. Now's the time when you take some vanilla or some vodka, whatever you have lying around that has a high alcohol content, but is clear, uh, like a, a almond extract or lemon extract will work. Um, I just use vodka cause it's, you know, I just buy the cheap low, low shelf stuff and it works great. Um, but literally whatever you have lying around and you want to paint the entire back side. Looks great. Now I'm gonna take my finer brush and I'm gonna go around the edges. So I'm gonna scrape it off as best I can and whew, kind of do these edges where the dino and the sky meet. Take your time. Try not to ruin any of the splatters that you just did. But we kind of want to get that effect that it's glowing on his skin. Now that we have our blue outlined areas done, I'm actually going to take another brush, this one's a dry brush, and take some of the, um, the glowing white glitter and pat it into place along those same lines, letting it adhere. To, uh, to those wet lines that we just made. So now that we've made some bigger dots, we're gonna come in with our dry brush and our glitter and make sure that we get this white glitter while those are wet to those bigger dots. All right, I think we're done with the blue. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing with just a touch of green. We really want mostly the blue on here. That's really the overwhelming color, but there are just a couple of little touches here and there that's gonna make the difference. All right, and once you've painted those areas, again, come in with the green glitter this time and touch those spaces. All right, black lights on. 
What do you guys think? I still wish the blues were a little bit brighter, but overall, I am so happy with how this turned out. It's just really fun. You know, most people are just gonna see it in the daylight and not think anything of it. And then bam, <laughs> you turn on the black light and it just looks awesome. Well, this was super fun to make, a super fun technique to try, and a really fun way to recreate a beautiful poster. I'm excited to watch the movie. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything and leave me a comment if there's any tutorial, technique, recipe, movie that you wanna see me create something about. Thanks for watching.